come standing on your mat, feet hip width apart. Welcome to Kalatantri Yoga. Close your eyes. Inhale your hands up and down, up into Pranana Mudra, and then down, down to Pranana Mudra in your hand, in, uh, at your at your chest. Okay. And you can have your eyes open or closed. So just feel into your body, ground into the earth. Send a lot of love to yourself, and then we'll begin with three long ohms. So take a cleansing exhale, and then a deep yogic breath. So inhaling up through your diaphragm, up your spine, and then exhale out to cleanse, and then we'll inhale to start. Chin, 
elevated, looking above, above or below the, the, the wrists. Feet, legs are active. In Kala, we, we hold postures a little bit longer, but this is kind of more of a flow. So, so just breathe into that root chakra to the lower back. And inhale, come up, being really, really, really gentle with yourself. Exhale, come down. Gavin, you want to come do come do Kala Tantra? Do some yoga? You like it. You need it for bite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So on the next inhale. You got your door open and your back shift. And oh, oh, the, the metal thing open? Yeah. Ah, will you close it? And then come join us. So this, in this squat, you may start with your back feeling like Thor wants to be in the video. Come right down. Come right down. Okay, he's a floppy dog. All right, so you feel this tension. You want to come with your feet flat and then bring your hands here into clasping elbows and then bring your forehead down and breathe. Take three deep breaths. In this practice, we exhale into our lower back. So if you can really activate your imagination to see breath, see where it goes, send it to your lower back because we have this, this uh, part of us that wants to hold on to this idea of fear or the notion that we're not safe. So breathing into the lower back, ah, even with a sigh, tells that part, that root chakra, to just relax. And enjoy your sacred space. This is your sacred space. So, so really spend a moment to send love to each one of yourselves and your body. It's not something we're taught to do, and so taking a moment to do that um, really creates really creates healing. And then on your next Inhale, you can bring your, your fingertips to the ground. Inhale, and then as you exhale, come up into forward fold. However that looks for you. And knowing your own limits, because Kala Tantra is a self-responsibility, not, um, not a corrective um, teacher telling you you know, if you're doing something wrong. So just flowing into it, really relaxing your neck and your spine, inhaling and exhaling into your lower back. Affirm to yourself in your in your mind, to your body that's listening, every cell's conscious, I'm safe. And then on your next inhale, roll up one vertebrae at a time. And as you exhale, roll your shoulders up and back. And slowly just feel into your body. Move your hips from side to side. Your arms. You can shake. You can jump. You feel however you feel would feel good. The next, the next posture is really quite fun. So, so we have our, our legs together and the, the legs are active. So they're your straight and then as you inhale you get a full rotation on your shoulders and your rotator cuffs and then you've got the swimming the swimming motion and just slowly feeling this stretch that's coming up and down your body just relaxing this is just the warm-up so you're just relaxing and letting go and then as you come forward, let your knees, let your knees relax and just swim. And you can, I mean, you can actually swim. You can, or you can keep this kind of uh, propeller blade going and just go inside your body. Do a little body scan. Feel where you're tense and your breath to the tension. I have a little tension right here on the right side, so send that to that area. And inhale, come back to center. Straight. 
and then exhale, go back. So you can just feel, feel the muscles warming up, letting go of where we've been holding stress and trauma, lifetimes of trauma. And then breathe, relax, and let your knees go. And just swim backwards. This is my mom's favorite one. We like to do this in the garden. <laughs> so relaxing, letting go, feeling. And this is good to do uh, outside in the sun, barefoot to recharge. And then inhale, exhale, come back to center, shake a little. Then and do a little chai gong. So you, you move your hands to the right and pat on your back to the right and inhale and exhale on the left. Okay? And then speed it up and invite your inner child to come in and just kind of play. Inhaling on the right or inhaling on the left, exhaling on the right. And spread your legs out and then start tapping up, patting yourself on the back for coming to do, do something that sends a lot of love intentionally to your body. Think about your intentions for your practice and then inhale, exhale, allow yourself to just come slowly back. We'll bring the feet a little more than hip width apart and we're going to inhale bring up the energy from the center of the planet into your chest expand it like a balloon exhale come down and the hands are right between the feet and then fold forward and allow your neck your neck and head to hang and relax relax and let it go breathing Breathing into your lower back, and with each inhalation and exhalation, you can come a little bit deeper, feeling it, feeling it to the left and right of your lower spine and your first three vertebrae. Then inhale, as you inhale, come up one vertebrae at a time, drawing the energy up into your heart. Bringing your hands out into a triangle. Inhale, and as you exhale, bring one hand down in front. Bring the right hand down, and then as you twist, gaze into your left palm and breathe. Okay. 
come forward and then deeper, bring the hands behind, behind the feet, spreading the legs a little bit further. Coming out, bringing the hands behind and really folding forward your hands through the leg, through the legs, behind the feet. Relax into the posture, just melt into it. Breathe into your lower back, of making the affirmation, I'm safe, I am this life I'm living, I am the willpower in my life, the, the fire force behind my decisions. I'm love, I'm sound, I'm light. I am an eternal being having a human experience. So enjoy, enjoying the body and the movement now. Then inhale. And exhale, walk the hands forward a little bit, bringing the feet in. And then roll up one vertebrae at a time. Bringing the hands face down onto the lower back, and then we'll go into alter posture and open the heart. Open the heart chakra. Really expand the shoulders. Let your neck come back. Open your mouth. Stick your tongue out if you feel like it. Really relax your jaw. Relax your neck. And breathe. <laughs> Inhale, come up. Exhale, shake it off. Okay, we'll do warrior. Okay, so let's start with warrior on the left side. So your hips are facing the side that your, your back foot or your right foot is facing. Your, your, your left foot is pointing in front of you and you're leaning into it, okay? This is a powerful, powerful stance. So. When you get into this and you're leaning forward, you're activating your core. Inhale your arms up, straight across. What kind of warrior are you? The kind that goes, oh, I'm gonna shoot, shoot you with, I'm gonna shoot this arrow. No, one that's very strong and powerful. The last thing you do is gaze over your middle finger. So looking over your middle finger with determination, say, inside or outside, I'm the warrior. Powerful and steady. Calm, cool, collected, and ready to move at a moment's notice. And inhale, the palm up. Exhale into half moon, bringing your, your right hand behind, gazing into your right foot, leaning forward on your left knee. Enjoy half moon and breathe. Inhale. Exhale back into warrior. Left elbow to left knee and triangle or all the way down with the left hand and then turning to gaze into the right palm for triangle. Or you can put feet, sift your left arm through and grasp it behind for a small, a stronger stretch. And then turn your chin up to go toward the left shoulder. Inhale, exhale, release, down into triangle, back into warrior, exhale, release, both feet pushed facing forward, relax, and then we'll switch sides, feel good, yeah, okay, right foot, right foot points out, left foot facing where the hips, leaning forward, into the right knee, extending out the arms in a powerful spread, winged, powerful warrior. Then your gaze is over the right middle finger. Completely active and relaxed at the same time. Inhale, bring the palm, right palm up, and over into half moon, tucking the left hand behind the back, gaze into the left foot, lean forward on the right, and breathe in half moon. Complete. 
completely activated. Inhale, exhale to warrior, and breathe. Thinking about triangle, thinking about bringing your elbow to your, your right elbow to your right knee, and then if, it's, if it feels good, and it's in your practice, come with elbow to knee, or hand near foot, and then slowly move to gaze into your left hand in triangle pose and breathe. Relax into the posture. Feel powerful in the posture. Inhale, exhale back to warrior. Hold, deep, let's go a little deeper on the right, and exhale, release. <sighs> okay. So we're gonna bring our feet together. We're gonna clasp our hands behind our back. Inhale, exhale with active legs, come folding forward. And like I said, anywhere that feels good, where no, you you only know your limits. So whatever that is, stop where that is, and breathe and allow yourself to unwind and let go. And as, as you take this time for yourself, know that you can go deeper with each, each time you do it. And just breathe, breathe into your lower back, breathe into every cell of your body, send love to every cell of your body. Then slowly bring your hands back, Releasing your hands and roll up one vertebrae at a time. Slowly. Sending love to your whole body, knowing your limits. And let's bring our hands into Pranamapa Mudra behind the back. So it looks like this, but if, if this is where you are, that's fine. A way to start is invert and come up and then as you do that you bring your shoulders back so that you open your chest okay and breathe inhale exhale let go of the left let go of the left hand and let it come up and join in the back for a deeper, deeper stretch. So then feel that as you clasp your arms, feel that up your up your triceps and up your side. It takes it, yeah, yeah, it takes a minute, like it, but but it comes back quick. And then exhale, release it back into Pramana Mudra. Inhale. Exhale. Feel your neck. Bring your shoulders back and down. Send a lot of love. You can move your chin to each shoulder. Inhale. Exhale. Release the right arm. And let it meet the, the arm in the back. And then pull so you can really feel it up the right side. That's where I'm stiff on the right side of my neck. So oh, then we'll do this side. Yay! Yeah. Oh, this is your mask. This is the masculine side. So, <laughs> yeah, most women are very familiar with being the masculine in their life. <laughs> Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale, and let it go. Okay. Now. Start to pay attention to where your feet are touching the earth and send roots down. Send your roots deep into the heart of Mother Earth, right into her heart, and then breathe up that love into your heart. And then exhale it down. And then whichever foot you feel most stable on, we're gonna go up into tree pose. And so if it's your which I'm, I'm feeling pretty stable on my left foot. So as you bring the right foot up into the tree posture, and you 
can put your foot here or you can put it here. I like to put it there. Find a focal point. That's first. Sorry, I was talking, but uh, find the focal point. And then as you bring your limbs up, and then come down into Pamana Mudra. And then just let your leaves sway in the wind. And really practice this balance daily. I, I challenge you to really just balance and practice. This posture was my favorite in kindergarten. It's the only thing I liked in kindergarten. Inhale, exhale, release your leg. And then send the roots down deep, 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 deep. Even with your mind's eye, imagine a door to mother's love in the center of the planet. My door is like this grand, huge, huge door. And, and I just open it and just engulf myself in mother's love. Um, always been there to catch every footstep that I make. So then bring that up. So your roots all the way down. And then the mother's love up into your heart. And then start to balance on the other foot whether it's your right or your left see the see wherever your focal point is for me the ground is is good but wherever wherever that is and then just bring your leg up wherever if you want it there if you want it here whatever feels good breathe and just let yourself feel the power and the majesty of a tree what the trees breathe out, we breathe in. We're very connected to the earth, very connected to the trees. Inhale, exhale, and if you want to really challenge yourself, close your eyes. <laughs> yeah. That's what we do in yoga school. Is we do this blindfolded, so you really practice, and it's a three-hour. Um, and just be this tree. Shavasana. How are we doing on time? So allow in Shavasana or corpse pose, you just let your legs flop open, let your arms flop open. And I'm gonna I'm gonna sit up and just walk us through a a quick body scan. So with your eyes closed, survey the top of your crown chakra above your head and let your hair relax. Let every cuticle of your hair on your head completely relax and let go. And as we scan down, imagine a purple pink light just coming over every breath down down and out your feet so your whole forehead is relaxed all the little muscles around your eyes are completely relaxed your scalp and around your ears your inner ear all completely relaxed and letting go your nose your cheeks Send a lot of love to your mouth, to your jaw. Your jaw is connected to your anus. So if you're anal retentive, you're gonna have locked jaw most of the time. So send a ton of love to your jaw and relax your jaw. Relax your teeth. Your teeth are energetically the ability to make decisions. And so the more sick our teeth are, the more apt we are able to make decisions. So breathe in and relax. Your tongue is relaxed into the cave of, its, of your mouth. Your throat is relaxed. Your thymus, your thyroid, all the little muscles around your neck and down your shoulders and your arms to your elbows. This light, this light is filling, healing, relaxing, sending joy through the blood, sending joy to all the tendons, muscles, nerves. Your wrist is completely relaxed. Every 
single one of your fingers is completely floppy, flexible, and relaxed. Your heart is relaxed. Your lungs, your kidneys, all of our internal organs hold emotion. We send love to all of our organs with an inner smile. You can do a little smiling yoga here and let the corners of your mouth smile in a relaxed way and profoundly send healing and love to your organs, your intestines, your stomach is completely relaxed. Your sexual organs, your pelvis, your pelvic floor, your root chakra, your energy centers are open and clear. Your legs are completely relaxed. Your thighs, your glutes, your knees, your calves, your ankles, all little veins. Every single one of your toes is completely floppy, flexible, and relaxed. Watch your thoughts like clouds, just going in the wind. They're not you, you're not your mind, you're not even your body. You're the observer, the witness. Breathe up and down your spine. Right side's 
completely relaxed. The left side is active and breathe. With each inhalation and exhalation, you can bring you can bring your knee to the side. You can start it here, and then with each inhalation and exhalation, you can bring it and just hug it in in Vajrayana Asana. This is profound healing for your intestines. So, so really breathe a lot of love and light into your intestines. It helps. It helps your your um, your fire center. It helps you to your eliminations. It's just a, a beautiful posture. Then on your next inhale, exhale and bring that that left leg across to the left, across across the right side as far as you can, keeping your shoulders flat on the mat. So you're completely spread. Your arms are spread out on the mat. And don't worry if both shoulders are not down because it comes with time. And then you twist and gaze into your left palm and breathe into your lower back. So really, really melt into this posture. If you have any kind of IBS or colitis or any kind of, which has to do with poisoned food uh, and not taking enough time to fast and drink a lot of really good spring water, but this is fantastic for that. So you just really breathe, looking and gazing into your left palm. And then inhale back to center. Exhale into Shavasana. So relax your whole body, melt into the mat, melt into wherever you are laying down, relaxing and letting go. Then bringing your feet together and on your next inhale, bring the right knee up and just give the right knee tons of love. Your whole left side is relaxed, like your whole left side. It's completely relaxed. Your right side is active and just hug it in with each inhalation and exhalation. You bring it a little bit closer to you. You can move your ankles, move your feet, um, uh, bend your toes, send a lot of love to your toes and your legs, breathe into your lower back. A cleansing exhale and then on your next inhale exhale and bring the right leg across the left and let it melt into the ground and spread your arms out keeping both your shoulders on the mat and then slowly look into the palm of your right hand and with each inhalation and exhalation, you breathe into this where we get this lock right here in our lower back, all the way up to our heart chakra. So melting and profoundly breathing into the lower back and gazing into the palm really gets just a beautiful, beautiful stretch. Any other issues? And then inhale, hug the knee up into the chest. And exhale, back down into Shavasana. Relaxing and letting go. So Trikana Asana was the twist and then Bringing up one leg at a time. So let's let's do. Okay, guys, you got to go. Inhale, straight leg. Inhale, the left leg straight up. It's active. It's active in Akana Asana. One leg active. So your whole right side is relaxed and your left side is active. And breathe, if you can press into your, into your big toe, that would be good. It opens your pineal gland. Inhale, 
exhale, open up the leg to the left side. Let it fall to the left side, slowly stretching the hamstring, the glutes, and melt.
have a tantra every day because it takes a minute to get to this place. <laughs> okay. And then as you inhale and exhale into your lower back, we release in Vajrava Asana, keeping the left leg behind the head and let the right leg come down. So it's, it's kind of an alter to split pose. Still an extension of fetus. And then inhale, exhale, change legs. The right leg goes behind. And breathe into your lower back. Relax your head. I mean, if you've got your foot behind your head, you're not you're not really relaxing your neck, but but just melt into it. And then inhale, exhale, release into Shavasana. So relaxing and letting go. So your legs flopping apart. So between each posture in Kalatantra, what's nice is your body can completely relax. It goes from completely active and then with the breath, we we relax every single part of the body from the head to the toe. Then slowly bring your feet together and we'll do another deep inhale into the diaphragm. Holding it here. And then exhale, release, release out. So seeing the tension leave your body. And then take another deep yogic breath, but this time take it into your heart Expand your heart like a balloon. All your intercoastal muscles. Really bring it out. Sip a little more air in. Hold the breath as long as you possibly can. Sometimes it got to be quite uncomfortable, but it's really good for the body to really practice the breath work. And then when it feels right, just slowly release. <sighs> when you make that sound, your body goes, oh, we're not in fight or flight mode anymore. Ah, I'm not in traffic with my hands white knuckled. Now on your next breath, imagine the, the, the shoulder stand. And the fun, fun fact for the mind and the body is that you can imagine yourself in shoulder stand and your body doesn't know the difference. So if it's in your practice today, Bring your feet together and then slowly watch me or go into it. If you feel, if you know it, it's called candle pose and you want to do it and it feels great, then go for it. If not, you come, you come up into Sarva, Gana, Asana, or shoulder stand. So you're, you're going to slowly push your booty with your hands up to stand on your shoulders and your head, your chin is in your chest and you're pushing your hips forward and you come into shoulder stand and relax and breathe. Knee press. 
then, if it's in your practice and you know what bridge, what bridge looks like, or setu, banda, asana, you come, come on, you've got to go to the side, you've got to go to the side, come on. So from here, to go from here into bridge pose, you're gonna hold your, your feet here, you're gonna hold your back here. You can just come down and go into Shavasana, but it's kind of fun to go from here, holding it here, come back, come back into uh, to candle, and let one leg invert, bringing your hands, your elbow, or your thumbs, and holding your back, and coming, letting your one foot come down and another foot down, come down into bridge, okay? And then, so when you get there, uh-huh, so one leg at a time, down, mm-hmm, it's a little, it's a, it's a little tricky, it's a little tricky, but when you're here, so you're here, and then you're back into candle, so go, so into candle, then invert your hands, so you're holding, and then, from candle, you let one leg come down and then the other come down. And then you're on your tippy toes in bridge. And then interlace your hands behind your back and come up on your toes and imagine a little marionette cord pulling you up into this, into this beautiful bridge posture. Right? And breathe. And melt and enjoy. Get comfort. You can go to side to side. This is a good one, kind of a Pilates one that helps strengthen the glutes. And then on your next exhale, round, come down like let in or out, let your hands go, and then come down one vertebrae at a time. Down. And then I like to just go straight into boat because it's challenging, so it just activates your core. So you just go straight into boat, right? So here, from bridge to boat, boat is naka asana, and then inhale, bring your feet down, hands up, and come into bridge. No, no, sorry, table, table. Adha mukha bandha asana. And then just relax your neck, relax it. Your, your abs are actually, and your, your quads are what are active here, not necessarily your glutes. So activating your core and your quads and your, your hamstrings. Then inhale, exhale, come down. And go into any arm balance. So if you want to plank, crow, dog, mat dog, downward dog, mountain, scorpion, just not um, head balance. So whatever that looks like, um, uh, this is downward dog, mount, downward, uh, mountain is feet together, dog is feet apart, or plank, plank is here, any arm balancing. So this one, this is kind of just a free flow. Scorpion is really fun. So if you want to, it's a modified headstand. So when you're here, you interlace your hands and you come up, come up on your knees and you come into, come into scorpion. The one that I like to do is just the, just the side twist. Just feel into it and do whatever free flow posture. Know? Feels good. And then, then when you're finished, just do that however long you want to do it. And then the next posture is Makraasana or Crocodile. So 
just straight leg. Yep, you're perfectly, perfectly straight. You can even touch your heels, but not if it's not comfortable. Basically, crocodile is taking on the ancient spirit of the crocodile. Your whole body is relaxed and ready to act at a moment's notice. So the spirit of the crocodile is swimming through the water, your belly in the water, and your feet and your back in the sun. Breathing into your back, breathing up your spine. Imagining all of your organs relaxed on a hammock, just swinging. You're completely aware of what's going on outside of you. You can hear the things around you. You can sense, feel, and hear the things around you. But you're also completely aware of what's going on in your inner space. And then just breathe. Then start to imagine the cobra. Bringing your hands to the sides of your chest. Slowly tucking your toes, imagining the cobra coming slithering up off the mat. And if it feels right, you can come up and slowly use your arm strength, slither forward, slither forward, bringing your feet apart and your feet are flat, and then bringing your shoulders up and back. And then lastly, bringing your chin up just a little bit. So you're bringing the hood of the cobra up and over behind your head and breathing into your lower back, feeling the ancient spirit of the cobra. And then slowly inhaling Exhaling, come down really slow. Activate your arms, activate your triceps, and slowly slither back down into microasana. So your hands are together, your feet are together, your head's on the mat, and your body is completely relaxed. You are the cobra. Completely aware of your inner world and your outer world. This is what starts to happen with meditation and yoga. You start to become aware of the subtle energies inside you and outside of you because every second, every moment, life force energy is flowing to and through us, but we're not aware because we're told to look outside ourselves. So breathe into your body, swim in the cobra, or swim with the crocodile. Breathing and letting go. And then with your next inhale, bring your hands out in front of you, looking at them. Bring your thumb into the palm of your hand and the fingers over into fists. And then put those fists right at your, right at your, um, your groin, okay? Right at your groin, right here. And breathe. And then on your next inhale, exhale and bring the left leg up, okay? Just straight, straight up, straight leg, the straight, the straighter the better. I'm on, and then your knee is coming, yeah, your knee is straight, and then your heel comes up. So with every breath, every breath with the straight leg, you can bring your, it's easier if you bring your um, chin to the mat, and then inhale, bring this up. And then with every inhalation, try to get up just a little bit more. Imagine a string. Mm -hmm. Perfect, that's good. Very, very good. And then inhale, a little bit higher. Exhale, release, and change sides. And then on your next inhale, 
Exhale and bring up the right leg. our 
knees. And I mean, if you if you have some knee issues and you have that kind of thing, you just have to feel and see if it fits in your practice. If it is, just slowly melt into it. If it isn't, stay in Shavasana and send love and light and and beautiful healing through all your cells in your body, knowing that you can visualize yourself in this posture and your body totally doesn't know the difference. So just enjoy, just enjoy and, and feel the feel the challenge and then and feel the stretch and enjoy it. Then slowly on your next inhale, come up on your elbows and then up and down into child's pose. So we just come forward and breathe. Deep yogic breaths is 
Use your imagination to follow your breath up and down your spine, lighting it up like a fluorescent light. And then inhale, exhale, let go, come back, come untangle yourself and come into Shavasana for a short period and then we're going to end with wheel. So wheel pose is back bend. So if it's in your posture, if it's in your practice, then, then coming, just relaxing, relaxing your body in Shavasana. Relaxing and letting go and sending tons and tons of gratitude to your your, your human for bringing you to class and and let, allowing you to let go of all the stuff that's not serving you anymore. And starting to imagine the wheel pose or back bend. And then if it is in your practice, this is the posture that literally blows open all seven chakras that are up and down the front and back of, of every human. So the root chakra, the sacral chakra, the solar plexus, the heart, which is the ajna, the, um, the throat chakra, the third eye, and the crown. So you take your hands and you put them upside down beside your ears, upside down beside your ears, and then your feet, your feet are active on the mat. I like to start kind of bringing, bringing my, um, my booty off the mat. And then inhale. And exhale, come up into wheel. And breathe. There you go. Good job. <laughs> Jessica is my yoga teacher. I'm so proud of you. We are doing so good. <laughs> Inhale and exhale. Come back down slowly, one vertebrae at a time, and come into uh, <sighs> easy pose. So that's the Kalatantra yoga set and how it flows and the different postures and how um, how it it moves through with each of the postures then deep relaxation and then a posture and then a breath and really brings you into um, your imagination and that's where tantra is this self-loving process uh, tan uh, means mind and tra means means expansion so it helps to expand your mind and to, it's definitely more, it's different than like workout yoga and the different types of vinyasa that we did together, you know? And then, um, and this is the first yoga. It was, it's 10,000 years old. So everything originated from this particular one into the different areas of yoga. So it's kind of interesting, you know? So. What do you think? It's different? Very different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. The imagination and this is where this is where Kundalini came out of. Uh, where you um, you and the and the animal, the animal postures, you know, and taking on the spirit of the rabbit or the crocodile or the um, um, the mountain and the dog and all of the different the different ones and then using the imagination to send the breath which is basically reiki healing so to send the breath where like right now i'm not tense anywhere right here and before it was like bulging you know so so it's just a it's definitely restorative but it's challenging too i mean who puts their feet behind their head on a normal basis yeah, well, in this one, this right here is a kundalini posture. So this one here, I think I was telling you this the other day. So this, this is a kundalini yoga posture. And I was doing this when I was three years old. 
how was I doing this at three years old or why, you know what I mean? It's like, I think I was truly channeling like past live yoga or something, you know? So, so it's interesting. Oh, I'm still recording. Okay. Okay. Hope you enjoyed it. And I think I'll post this at some point. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs>